So the first thing that I'm going to show you are the contents of the box. So what we have here is the Lunchbox 3 itself. Then we have two screws which we use to screw in the SSD into the Lunchbox. We're also given a little Allen key which fits those screws. We also have a like welcome type card by Andy Cine. This is not an installation manual. And then also to finish off, what we have here is an Andy Cine cleaning cloth. And the SATA SSD drive that I'm going to be using for this particular setup is the four terabyte version of the Samsung 870 Evo. And this drive will allow me to record over four and a half hours at 4K60 using the ProRes 422HQ codec. Now, of course, if you drop that down to something like 29.97 or 24 or 25 frames per second, then you are talking well over nine hours of recording time using ProRes 422HQ. In fact, it's probably slightly over 10 hours. Now, just before I show you the first use for the Lunchbox 3, let me just show you something which may be a bit familiar to some people out there, and that's the fact that you can just grab hold of your SATA SSD and directly connect it to the SATA port and power support straight onto the back of the ninja like that now i've got to be really honest this is what i do sometimes when i'm being impatient and the reason why is because i always use my ninja indoors so for me i'm kind of thinking that this is okay when in fact it absolutely is not as we can see here on the back this drive has got a lot of bend in it and a lot of give. In fact, let me just show you. I'll just take it out of the SATA port there. If this drive were to have taken a knock from one side, that could absolutely bend right forward and snap off the SATA and power interface inside your Ninja. That's why doing it this way is a really bad idea. However, this first use for the Lunchbox 3 is quite possibly only 50% of a bad idea. So what you do, you just grab the Lunchbox 3 and then just slide it into place into the back of the Ninja like that, making sure that it's pushed right up to the end like that. And then if you want to connect your bare SSD drive straight into the Ninja, what we'll do here, we'll just pass it through the Lunchbox 3 push it onto the SATA power port there. And then what we've got is a very solid connection there. As we see, this will not bend backwards because the Lunchbox 3 is actually going to stop the drive from bending out and snapping off the SATA power port on the Ninja. And also, as we can see here, I can just pop that one out and then just quickly just pop another drive in. However, and although this way of using the Lunchbox 3 definitely works, it is not what it is designed for. And I would strongly recommend that you think twice about using it this way. I only use it this way in a pinch because my Ninja is always used indoors. It is not on a camera, it is on a table. And basically I have very little chances of people walking past and snagging things or slamming into the side of the Ninja itself and potentially snapping off an SSD. So what I'm going to do now is to show you my second way of using the Lunchbox Box 3 and indeed this is the correct way to use it and this is the way that it was designed to be used and that is to screw it directly to the SSD. Now as you can see here this is the correct orientation for the SSD to go into the Lunchbox 3. So what I'm going to do first of all is just put the SSD in the Lunchbox 3 then I will show you where the screws go but just check the way that this is lined up right now. This is the correct orientation. Also if I just flip it around this way, as we will see here, that'll give you an idea as well about what the inside or the backside looks like as far as the orientation is concerned. You obviously just have to make sure that you've got your Saturn power ports on this side here. And then we just get access to the side of the Lunchbox 3 here. And what it is, there's a screw hole in its side which lines up to the screw hole on the SATA drive. So... Let me just pop in one of the screws there. And then I will just use this little screwdriver wrench thing that come with the unit to tighten it up. And then I will just do the exact same thing on the other side, which is to just pop the screw in there and then tighten it up with the supplied Allen key. And then once you have got your Lunchbox 3 all securely attached to your SATA SSD, you just simply slide it into one end of your Ninja and straight the way through and then... 
make sure it clicks right to the very end there and then we have got our SATA SSD all securely attached to the Ninja and as you can see here there is very little wobble on the end here and any kind of wobble that we do get there is definitely not going to be enough to bend that out of shape and then snap off the SATA and power port.